scandals of the clergy, their pomp, their pride, and, and their, all their vices of the prelates and the priests, the things that they have affirmed and which are irrefutable, I also think and declare like them. His words were in, interrupted, the prelates trembling with rage. Does it sound familiar? Cried out, we have no, we have, we need have we of further proof away with this most obstinate of heretics. It's the same story. Is it not the same story? Brothers and sisters, it's always the same. We're almost there again. We're almost there again. Where the Bible says the truth becomes a lie and the lie becomes the truth. And if you are going to stand for the truth, you will be cut down. You will be destroyed. That's just the way it is. So I think what we have to ask ourselves all the time, every moment of every day, who is in control? Who? Because you've only got one decision. I mean, that's it. It's Christ. If it's not Christ, then by default, what are you? And who's in control? Amen. The Bible says you are bought with a price. Right? You are not your own. You're going to be a slave, one to one or the other. There is no middle ground, brothers and sisters. It's all or nothing. And if we are not stayed with Christ, it's just a moment, one moment, the wrong way. Huss, Jerome, you, I, any of us can fall in an instant. This world is filled with pride. So much pride. And I'm convinced of this until somebody proves me different, that if pride was exhausted from this planet, sin would disappear. Pride is the root of it all. Because you know, if you thought like Paul that all people are better than yourselves, what are you going to do? You're going to reach out for your brother. You're going to reach out for your sister. As Christ did. To everybody. You know, if I saw a leper coming, I'd go the other way. Jesus walks right up and hugs him. But well, what if Jesus was completely in control of me and the leper came? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Jesus could hug that leper through me. So I ask you, if you get nothing else I've said today, please consider these thoughts as you go through the next week until we get back here next Sabbath. Who is in control. Who? Thank you. Please stand and return your hymnals to hymn number 286, Wonderful Words of Life. Our Bible is a wonderful words of life. Sing them over again to me, wonderful words of life. Hymn number 286.
All right, brothers and sisters, Jesus has all the wonderful words. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other. There is no other. So, if you want to choose Him today and you're asking Him to be in control, I just ask you to raise your hand as I pray. Dear Heavenly Father, all these hands that are up, Lord, we want You to be in control of us, Lord. We ask You for the forgiveness of sins to open our eyes, to help us to see. See what our brother is going through. That we might just not be so quick to judge. You know, I, I just read this little thing the other day on a, a Facebook thing that had this little girl that had two apples and she had bitten one of the apples and her mother asked her for an apple. So she bit the other apple. The mother was automatically upset. But then the girl says, here, Mommy, this one's the sweetest one. Aren't we so quick to judge, Lord? Help us, Father. We don't know. We think we know something, but the Bible tells us we don't know anything as we ought to know it, Lord. Please, I pray this day, let your Spirit inflame our minds with understanding. Allow us to be humble before each other and allow you first place in our life. Let us be on the cross and you be on the throne of our hearts. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated to be ushered out. Thank you.